under the motion, girls and boys should be girls and boys should be equal. All right. So allow me invite uh, Honorable Bob George from Juba Parents to come and deliver it. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson, Secretary, Timekeeper, Panel of Judges, Invited Guests, the two competitive sites, Audience, Ladies and Gentlemen. Good morning. My name is Bob George Abraham and I am a pupil at Juba Parents School. I am here with my team to strongly propose the motion that states boys and girls should be equal. Honorable Chairperson, allow me to go We have Honorable Aluk Idenge who will handle the usual views about the importance of equality between boys and girls. We also have Honorable Duku Ebenezer who will handle the political part. Before I set the ball rolling, Honorable Chairperson, allow me to find the motion. Go on. In my own understanding, the motion shows that boys and girls should be treated equally. The motion shows that boys and girls should have equal opportunities in life. Therefore, in my opinion, the motion must be written 100% correctly. I would like to start with a quotation that will lead me by my views. The quotation states, the former General Secretary of the UN, Honorable Bartimon, once said, achieving gender equality requires the engagement of women and men, boys and girls. I would like to bring you my evidence to the table of That will take me direct to my views. First is salvation. What is salvation? Salvation is an act of delivering or saving from sin. The Holy Bible states it clearly in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. Whoever who believes in him shall not perish, neither boys or girls, but both of them shall have eternal life. I would like to give you my evidence to the table. Therefore, salvation was given to both gender, boys and girls. Then, who of you brings imbalance in boys and girls? That is why I strongly stand here and support the motion that states boys and girls should be equal. In addition to that, Holy Spirit outpour. When Jesus was ascending to heaven, he promised us the Holy Spirit to guide both boys and girls to overcome the temptation of the devil. And if he had selected one gender, the other gender would have failed to overcome the temptation of the devil and also failed to understand the word of God as it is reflected to the, to the holy book of John chapter 14 verse 26. I would like to prove you my evidence. In addition to that, sacrament. Sacrament is a visible sign of an invisible grace of God. In churches, sacraments like baptism, holy communion, are given to both gender, boys and girls, to embrace the grace of God. For example, here is my baptism card. Here is my sister's baptism card. I would like to prove you my evidence to the table of Mr. Chairperson. It means that. We all now belong to God's family. Before I conclude, I would like to summarize my points. First, I talked about salvation. I say salvation was granted to all, regardless of our gender. Secondly, I talked about the Holy Spirit out for. God promised the Holy Spirit to both boys and girls to guide us in our Christian life. Thirdly, I talked about sacraments. The church offers sacraments to all boys and girls without discrimination. Before I conclude, I would like to thank my friends on the opposition side for embracing equality of both boys and girls by engaging both gender in this competition. So as actions speak louder than words, thank you for, for standing with us in support of this motion. And I wish your views support your action. In conclusion, I call, my, I call upon my friends on the opposition side to cross the line and support the motion. 
Mais je vais vous dire que 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 For that presentation, let's uh, invite uh, Allow me invite Honorable Jessica Yusuf Thank you so much, Honorable Jessica. 
Allow me straight away invite Honorable Aliu Kirende to come and deliver it towards the most. In the first place, I would like to recognize the presence of the chairperson, secretary, panel of judges, timekeeper, invited guests, plus the two competing sides fighting for their rights. Not forget to use your name. My name is Ali Kidiende and I am from Viva Parents. Before I say the word, I would like to quote this. One of the freedom fighters in India, Mahatma Gandhi, once said, Woman is the companion of man, given equal mental capacity. This is a freedom fighter from India. I would like to say this quote. Socially, the equality of boys and girls has done more good than harm in the following day. First, we have music harmony. Both boys and girls form a music harmony because in music, girls are given two voices. That is to say soprano and alto, while boys are given tenor and bass, which shows their equality as far as music is concerned. Therefore, without the two combining, it forms a sad song. As you can see here, there are men and women who are singing here, and they are singing in harmony because they included both genders. Allow me to send it to you tomorrow. Secondly, we have companionship. The equality of boys and girls is most companionship. In the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verses 21 and 22, God gives Adam a companion after seeing his miserable one who was alone. The two were given opportunity to enjoy the fruits of the world and when they disobeyed God. Still, they were both punished regardless of their gender as it is reflected from Genesis. This is my quotation about companionship and I have put the exact quotation. Please allow me to read it. Thirdly, we have cultural development. According to the African study, culture is developed or promoted when each gender plays its role. For example, cultural dressing, dances, taboos, and cultural ceremonies. So, when these cultural activities are distributed to both boys and girls, culture is easily developed more than the involvement of one gender. We have people in the audience who are wearing their cultural wear. Please come forward. The art industry has been developed worldwide by both boys and girls. For example, in our country, South Sudan, we have both men and female musicians, like John Frog, who is a male, and like Scholar, who is a female. These people entertain us equally. I have a picture of John Frog here. Here is John Frog, and here is Lady Cola. Allow me to send you to the table of the judges. This has promoted talent in the young generation without considering their gender. So, if we leave one gender to entertain us, the other will be stigmatized, hence sitting on their talent. Therefore, boys and girls should be given equal, should be equal in order to promote the art industry. Before I conclude, I would like to say that Thank you for your In summary, I talked about music ceremony, where boys and girls equally form a music Secondly, I spoke about companionship, where both boys and girls see one another for Thirdly, I spoke about cultural development, where culture is easily promoted by both boys and girls. Fourth, I spoke about the art industry, and I said it has been developed by both female artists and male artists. As I conclude, I would like to say, never trouble, trouble before trouble, trouble. So, failure to promote equality of boys and girls companionship, music, harmony, and also the other I pray that God gives us the spirit of understanding to comprehend the positive impact of gender equality. Such a person, I sign out. Thank you so much. Uh, that has been honorable and you today. Let's uh, you welcome Irene.
the tag on the bag goes unnaturally <coughs> in titles. And I take the, the quote from the book of <coughs> Numbers and oh, your observance from the grade of 98, secretary, time control of the panel of judges, two competing sites, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Narrable Irene. Allow me uh, straight away. Invite uh, Narrable Ebenezer Duku. In the first place, I would like to recognize the presence of the chairperson, secretary, panel of judges, timekeeper, invited guests to competing sides, audience, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Okay. My name is Ebenezer Duku. I am a pupil at Kuba Parent School. I am in primary five root. Today I am here to propose the motion that says boys and girls should be equal. Before I go any further, I would like to start with a quotation that says the former Black UN General Secretary Kofi Annan said in one of his speeches. Gender equality is critical to the development and peace of every nation. I'd like to send it to the table of the judges. With this quotation, I fully support this motion. First, justice. Justice is the first movement of individuals. The equality of both boys and girls promotes justice. Whoever has been opposing this motion graduates to promote injustice, which is punishable by the government of South Sudan and by God, as written in the book of Proverbs 21, verse 15. So, whoever has been opposing this motion should repent now. <laughs> Security service. This is a social service provided by the government and non-governmental organization to promote peace and unity for the people in our country to live a better life. In our country, South Sudan, we have different security institutions like the SSPDF and the SPNN, which are composed by both male and female. I would like to send it to the table of the judges. <laughs> This has promoted patriotism among boys and girls, which has strengthened the security of this nation. On the other hand, one gender cannot defend the nation successfully. Thirdly, law making. Our beautiful country, the motherland South Sudan, has a national constitution which was made by men and women. These are varied in laws that favor men and women. On the other hand, if the national constitution was made by only one gender, says males, they would set laws in favor of men only without considering women and vice versa. Therefore, the involvement of gender in lawmaking should be prioritized to avoid gender bias laws. Fourthly, leadership. Leadership is the ability of an individual to guide and manage a group of people as is stated in the Advanced Learners Dictionary. Before I go any further, I'd like to recognize the presence of our head boy and the presence of our head girl, deputy head boy and deputy head girl. May you rise up. Who is the head boy? <laughs> <laughs> Because of equality between boys and girls, we have leaders and there are girls and boys, which are the head boy and head girls. Through this point, I really support the motion. Both boys and girls have leadership skills and they need to be promoted equally in order to have democratic leaders. Do you accept to take the point of information? <laughs> so when boys and girls are given a leadership platform, he or she can defend his or her gender on different matters like early marriage, drug abuse, child labor, defilement, not to mention but a few. That's why I call upon the other's house to support both boys and girls in leadership so that they can defend their rights equally. Before I conclude, I would like to summarize my views. First, I talked of security service, which is offered by both men and women. 
second I talk of lawmaking where I say when males and females are involved in lawmaking, it avoids gender bias laws. Thirdly, leadership. When both gender are engaged in leadership, they can defend their rights equally. Last but not the least, I talk of justice where I say the equality of both boys and girls promotes justice. I would like to conclude here opposing the I would like to conclude here advising the opposers to cross the line and come here and say boys and girls should be equal. Mr. Chairperson, I sign out. Thank you so much. Honorable Ebenezer Uh Allow me right away for a matter of time. Welcome. Uh, Honorable Jennifer from Enderibar. His Excellency, the moderator of today's debate, the Secretary, the Time Maintainer, judges, two parties of today's debate, teachers around ladies and gentlemen. In front of you is Jennifer Gilbert Joseph from St. Francis Nazareth Primary School. I am in Primary 7 class and I am here to oppose today's motion that says boys and girls should be treated equal. Back to my side is Boys and girls should not be treated equal due to my following views. Your Excellency, the moderator of today's debate, may I have may I allow me to go to my views? Yeah, yeah. Before I go to my views, I would like to inform the time speaker who came here and said, You came here, you are not coming here to read everything from the paper. You come here to use your mind. I would like to inform you about this. With this, I oppose the motion. Before I go through my views, I would like to share. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to oppose today's motion that says boys and girls should be treated equal, which is not good. I want to ask you, anyone who knows the, who, who knows the answer will answer me. This house, who are the to build this house? Is it girls? Yeah, it is not girls. Even if you look around, even this is school here, your school. Girls are the one who build this is school. It is not girls, it is boys. That's why I say boys and girls should not be treated equal. With this, I oppose the most points of information. Actually, you are now to give the point of information. No. Point of correction. No, it's not allowed. So this is clarity. Uh, the points are from the competing team. On yes. Girls are supposed to be treated to become peacemakers because, because they have forgiving heart. For example, if a man marries like four, four women, this man will not, will not accept that her wife will go and marry another man. For example, even if your boyfriend gets you on the way with another with another boy, you will start calling, you need to kill you and the boy also. But if you are the one who get them, the girl will forgive. But boys, they don't have forgiving heart. With this, I oppose the motion. Boys, boys are supposed to be free to become soldiers. Because I want to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, anybody, did you ever seen a girl holding a gun and start shooting people? Yeah. Yeah.
boys without their no girls. Now, if their parents don't have girls, who will help them? Right? This is the boys, right? Yes. Not the girls. Not a parent to go and bring another house girl to come and work. But there are some parents who will just leave the boys to work and train them well. That, to that, I support them. Boys, I want to say something. If, if a man, you say that, if a family who is not having girls, Okay, who are the ones who produce those boys? They don't have mother. They have mother. Even there is some boys, if they are all boys at home, they will make themselves that they have power. They will not respect anyone. Even you, the mother who produce them, they need to beat the mother. Like, with this, I propose the motion. Boys, they don't have respect. First of all, boys, they don't have respect. Your mother who is born, you will carry for nine months. You will still, if you grow up, you need to make yourself that you are the one who have the power than your mother and you don't know who created you. God is the one who created you and you don't, and you don't know who, who is the one who born you. Is, is, is it not your mother? And you are not respecting her. Then, like this, it will show what? With this, I oppose the motion. Let's have a photo in the audience. May I allow me to have a photo? You are out. Changes, change us, changes are guests of boys by the end of future. They are half over and half life. If boys, they will, if they are still young, they will respect, they will pretend that they are respecting their parents. But if they are reaching 15, 15 like this, you need to fight with your mother. Are you mad? You are not the first one. You are, you are 15 years and you first came. How did your mother carry you? You are not helping your mother. You need to fight your mother. You are going to join that group, which is not good. With this, I oppose the motion. Your Excellency, the moderator of the day, you are allowed. The first one I talked about. Girls are supposed to be friends with them, peacemakers. The second one is, the second one is about bad boys are doing bad groups. The third one is about. Your Excellency, the moderator of today's debate, the secretary, the time and dinner, two competing sides of today's debate. Yeah, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Uh, I want uh, to extend this to the attention of the adjudicator. Uh, our last uh, rule in this debate says offensive and hurtful words are not supposed to be used. Thank you so much, uh, the presenters, for deliberating upon the motion. I want to thank those who have been the audience giving your ears to these different members who have been hustling for their rights. Allow me to invite uh, the secretary. No, the team captain, please. All right, yes, thank you so much. Allow me to invite the team captains uh, for the summary of their points. Good morning. Good morning. I am here to summarize my points. But before I summarize my points, I would like to correct both of the, the second speaker and the third speaker. I would first like to start, start with the second speaker. The second speaker once said that girls don't play football. Girls play football. Even in the television, there is the FIFA Women World Cup. Even there is the Men Women World Cup. In the women, Spain won. Men, Argentina won. Then, tell me your evidence that girls don't play football. <laughs> in addition to that, I would like to say a Bible verse. Neither boys nor girls, for you are all one in Christ. We shall find that in Galatians chapter 3, verse 23. I would like to correct the third speaker. 
it is true that boys build house, houses. But there are some girls that make the construction for the boys to come and build. There are some boys, there are some girls, there are some boys that work under the management of girls. And also she said that girls have a forgiving heart. That will take us to the Holy, to the Trinity, three gods in one. The role of the Holy Spirit is, is to, the guide, to guide people. For example, assuming that the Holy Spirit is not there now, with, with girls and boys, will they have any forgiving heart? Will they have any helping heart? Yes. I wish the Holy Spirit was not there, then let me see. I would like to go directly to my summary. I talked about salvation. I say salvation was granted to all, to all regardless of our gender. Secondly, I talked about God's spirit our God. God promised the Holy Spirit to both boys and girls to guide us in our Christian life. Thirdly, I talked about sacraments. The church offers sacraments to all boys and girls without discrimination. The second speaker who came here was Honorable Alim Kidende, who talked about music harmony, where boys and girls are equally for a music harmony. Second, he talked about cultural development. Culture is easily promoted by both boys and girls. Finally, she talked about art industry. It, it has been developed by both female artists and male artists. Fourthly, she talked about championship. Both boys and girls need one another for comfort. The, first, the last speaker, who was who Ebenezer, talked about security service, which is offered by both male and female. Secondly, he talked about law making. When males and females are involved in law making, it avoids gender abuse laws. Thirdly, he talked about leadership. When both gender are engaged in leadership, they can defend their rights equally. Fourthly, he talked about justice. When boys and girls are treated equally, they have justice. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson and Ms. Official. I would like to be signed out. Thank you so much. Uh, let us uh, invite uh, the captain, that is Honorable Jessica from St. Francis, to come and give us a summary. Thank you, Honorable Jessica. 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 Boys are of strong muscles. They say girls are so girls are so emotional. The last one is is menstruation. The the second speaker also stands in rubber base her points under religious affairs. Another religious affairs she spoke about class laws, duties, disrespecting a rise at home. Girls are natural to be that. The last speaker who takes a bullet base her points under socialization. In other socialization, we talk about boys strong and endurance increase with time. Girls should be trained to be homemakers. Girls are supposed to be trained to become peacemakers. Before I conclude, I would like to challenge my opening. The, the, the last speaker, the last speaker, the last speaker challenged my, my opposition side to say that. He said that 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 boys 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 should boys should work. But when girls when but when girls and boys treated equally, girls are not working. They will hire someone house girl to come and work. And this is not good. You are a girl are supposed to work. And the the first speaker saying that girls are not the girls are supposed to play football. Yes, they are supposed to play football, but they lose the time to be female gender. They lose their they lose their bread. They lose their bread. And no one will man no one will man will just walk by the roadside. Everyone just seems like is this is a, a male or a female. Is, is this a male or a female? And God is is God wrong when he created you as to be a car? He's not wrong. Pray my to yourself to, to, to do what so now with this we propose the motion. This expense is the model of tonight today. The second time, time and ten, a group of people said, judges, and knew the girl and girl in some social media.
right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. The two competing sides in this activity. The audience. The table of the adjudicators. And the two parties are seated with me right here.